Hey guys, it's time for the question of the week. I know, it's not Friday, I'm mixing, mixing things up here a little. <laughs> it's good, it's good. Adaptability, fluidity, flow, it's all good. Um, today's question comes from one of the subscribers to my YouTube channel. And I love this question because it, um, it's something that really needs to be addressed because there's a lot of confusion about this. Um, uh, in the twin flame community and just really other spiritual communities. So this is a really good question. And the question is, do we need to raise our vibration to connect with our twin flame or are we already on the same frequency? If we are the same frequency, why aren't we attracting them? Okay. So two part question. Um, so the first part, no, we do not need to raise our vibration to connect with our twin flame. Raising your vibration is a thing of the mind, right? Like how do people raise their vibration? And I guess um, usually from what I understand and know of this concept, um, it's something that's done uh, when you're trying to consciously manifest things into your life, you know, like use the law of attraction con consciously, you know, like as, t as explained in um, the book and the movie, The Secret. Um, and so how, does, how do they say to raise your vibration? Well, they say to do that through visualizations, vision boards, um, maybe meditating, you know, feeling good. There's, there's, there's like this scale, right, of um, how you feel and, diff and the different levels of feelings um, correspond with a different level of vibration. Um, I'm sure there's way more to it than that, but I mean, I, that's the general gist as I know what raising your vibration means, right? So um, that's all through the mind, right? When you visualize something, it's through your mind. Every surface feeling you have on that scale comes from a thought or more precisely a belief in your thoughts. So um, that's all the mind, right? It's all physical. Everything there is on the physical realm and world. And um, it has nothing to do with soul energy. So the twin flame journey is all about the soul because what is the twin flame? The twin flame is you, is your soul. You are your soul. Your twin flame is your soul. You are the exact same soul. Now, having said that, you don't have to raise your vibration consciously through physical means. In fact, if you try to physically manifest your twin flame into your life, it will backfire. It will not work. It will push them further away because that's you focusing on the physical form of the twin flame and not going through the route that you need to go through, which is through your soul. So having said that, what is our soul? Our soul is energy. Energy is a frequency. So our soul is a frequency, a frequency, frequency of vibration. We are our soul. Our twin flame is our soul. So yes, we are the exact same frequency of vibration as our twin flame. Uh, and that we share that with no one and nothing else in the entire cosmos. And that's what makes twin flames so sacred. That's the only, I mean, they're the only other person or thing even in the entire history of the, of the universe that has the exact same frequency that you have. Um, and that's what makes it so special and, and just so, you know, obviously unique. I mean, you are the same, the exact same. Um, and, you know, when it comes down to it, the essence of, every, of all of us is just our soul, which is this frequency and vibration that we share with our twin flame and only our twin flame. So um, having said that, we are a frequency, we are our souls. That frequency of your soul, it's a love vibration, a vibration of love. And everyone's a little tiny bit different, which makes everyone's, you know, a little bit different and so that no one's is the same except for with their twin flame, right? Um, so, but it's all basically love vibration. That's what it is. Your soul is love. And so that vibration is always you. You are always there. It doesn't change. It's constant. Your soul is eternal. It's infinite. It does not change. It's the one thing in the universe that is, that is guaranteed, that is constant, that doesn't change. Everything else, this whole entire physical world, it changes, right? You can't, there's no guarantees. It's not forever. Your soul is, your soul is eternal. So um, it doesn't change. That vibration is constant. So you can't raise and lower that vibration. That doesn't, that's not the way it works. You are that vibration. However, when you are incarnated into the physical world in, in your body and you have a mind, um, as we can see, because we can consciously raise and lower our physical vibration, right, through, those, through that scale of feelings that I discussed that raises and lowers your vibration, um, but that, again, that's all physical. 
But while we're incarnated here, we are attached to that physicality. And we have that part of ourselves. And that mind part of ourselves, that mind energy that raises our, that creates our feelings, raises our vibration or lowers it and changes back and forth, um, that is a vibration of fear. So we are our soul's vibration of love, right? Doesn't change constant. But the part of our soul that tethers us to this physical world is a fear vibration. And that fear vibration we also share with our twin flame exactly and with no one else in the entire cosmos because it is a part of our soul. Um, however, uh, when the twin flame, when we're on a twin flame journey and our soul had what's called soul recognition and our soul recognized itself in the physical form of our twin flame, that fear-based soul energy that's tethering us to the physical world that we share with our twin flame and no one else becomes polarized and activated. And so it's those two polarities as they build up, they feel amazing. And that was that honeymoon period with your twin flame where everything clicked and you were in sync and you didn't connect with anyone such like this. And you know, it was bliss, but then they put built up and then they repelled. And so it's those two polarized energies of the same exact frequency of vibration that you share with your twin flame, just two polar opposite frequencies um, that build up. And that is a fear-based frequency. That's fear-based energy because it's tethering you to the physical world, which is a world of fear-based everything. So um, the two polarities of you and your twin flame, you're one, your twin flame is the other one. Um, they, they, they act as a push-pull. So one of you is a push. If you're watching this video, most likely you're the push. Your twin flame is the pull. And so that's the two polarities. One, pol one polarity pushes, the other one pulls in tandem. Um, so that's why when you push your focus and your energy out onto the physical form of your twin flame, it pushes them away. They pull away, right? Because that's the push-pull. That's the whole relating dynamic of twin flames once you have had soul, re soul recognition and you're in this twin flame journey. So um, that, that is why, yes, you are the same frequency as your twin flame to answer the question. You don't have to raise your vibration. You are your soul vibration. You and your twin flame are the same soul. You are the exact same frequency, the exact same vibration. Um, however, because part of your soul that tethers you to the physical world um, is fear-based and it has these polarities, once they are activated when you are in your twin flame journey, then um, that's why you, you aren't attracting them right now because they are repelling each other because of these two polarities, right? And yes, it's all energy. It's all frequency. So, so you are the same frequency. You are your soul. You are your soul. It is an energy, it is a vibration of love, the exact same frequency with your twin flame. The part of your soul that tethers you to the physical world, one of fear, is fear-based. And it's just like an offshoot, like it comes down into like the physical world. Your soul's like in another world, right? It's in another plane, another dimension. But the part that, that is in the physical 3D dimension that we're in right now is fear-based. So what we need to do is balance out those two polarities that push pull, make it neutral so that then you will attract each other and connect because you are the exact same soul vibration of love. Um, why you're not doing that right now is because the more those polarities build up, the more that fear builds up um, and fear remembers the opposite of love. So this all makes sense in, in, in different roundabout ways, right? Like, you know, the more you have fear, the less you are of love. And so the further, um, away from alignment you are with your true soul vibration of love and your twin flame. So we just need to balance out that fear, which balances out those polarities, which stops the push pull and brings you back closer into alignment with your true soul vibration, which then yes, under the law of attraction, which happens anyway, we don't have to do any conscious manifesting or anything like that. It's just working constantly. Everything in your life is coming in because of the law of attraction, every single thing, whether you consciously manifested it or not, right? No conscious manifesting. It's not a journey of the mind. Your soul will do it. Your soul is doing everything. So um, once, you, once we neutralize the fear-based energy, we pull ourselves closer into alignment with our soul, our true soul vibration, our love vibration, which is also our twin flame. We naturally magnetize in our twin flame under the law of attraction, because yes, it is the same exact frequency. But again, it's not a frequency you can get to through your mind. This is not a journey of your mind. This is a journey of your soul. It's a frequency that's constant. It's always there. It's just a matter of shifting closer back into alignment with it. And um, 
that's the answer to the question. I hope that wasn't confusing. I hope that made some sort of resonance um, with you guys. Um, and again, if you want to know exactly how to do that, I have clear action steps in my coaching programs to help you do that quickly, simply. You feel amazing. The closer you shift into alignment, even before your twin flame comes back, you start feeling amazing and you feel great and you just feel content and peaceful and blissful. And then um, only when you reach that energetic space, that close alignment with your true soul vibration of love. And remember, love is acceptance with no judgment. That's unconditional love. And so once you're able to accept everything in your life with no judgment and yourself with no judgment, that's when your twin flame physically can appear. Um, and I can help you do that. So um, thank you. Thank you for this question. I love answering it. I love explaining that. And I really hope it resonated with everyone. Um, have a great week. Let me know if you have any questions. Hit me up, and um, I will get to them in another question of the week episode. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Lots of love. Bye.